everybody and thank you for picking Kaylee. Today's video will be on planting our sprouted ginger. For materials we will be using two potting containers so you want to make sure they're at least 12 to 14 inches across. Next will be the potting soil mix. This is my compost that's in here, the finished compost, and then the water, and last but not least, the ginger. So I want to show you what your ginger should look like before planting it. So you want to make sure that these eyes have started sprouting out. So all of these are different eyes coming off the fingers and we want to make sure they're all starting to sprout. So you can see here that these have all sprouted. And for each one of these eyes that we take off, they'll make their own individual plant. So you can have a whole entire finger but if you break it up into smaller pieces, you will get several different plants from it. So as you can see here, I have a little one, but when you break up your ginger, you wanna make sure that you use a very clean knife or you're breaking it on the grain. And after that, you wanna make sure that you have it in a dry place for one to three days and making sure that it heals over because that makes sure that there's not there, there won't be an infection getting in here because it's a brand new, new cut ginger so you just want to make sure that they heal over before you plant them so keep them somewhere for one to three days it's just like potatoes they need to scab over a little bit before we plant them in the earth step one will be to fill the containers with the potting soil and compost mix so we want a good ratio um, i'm going to do two to one so i'm one ratio of compost with two towards the potting soil and you want to make sure that whatever container you're using there's a lot of drainage ginger likes a lot of drainage so you want to make sure that the soil is not too compact and that we have a lot of draining holes at the bottom and so that there's more of a breathing for the ginger um, we want to make sure that they do not sit in the water because if they sit in the water, they will start to rot. So watering is a very, I wouldn't say it's tricky with ginger, but I want to say you want to keep a close eye on it because you do not want your ginger tubers to rot at all in the soil and then you get nothing. So there's a little bit of compost. Now I'm going to start with the soil. Okay, these are three-fourths of the way full with a two-to-burn ratio of potting soil and compost. So now we are going to place the ginger. Um, so some fun facts about ginger. They like their soil very, a little mildly acidic. So if you have alkaline soil, you can get a pH test and test your soil. They like to be around like 6.1 to 6.5 on the pH scale. So that's just a fun fact about ginger. Another fun fact about ginger is that it does like some room. So you want to space them out about 8 inches if you're planting in rows. And then if you have containers, they say about one of these per one container. But I think you can definitely do two to one container. So as you can see here, I will not be able to add a couple of my gingers in here so I will have to add some more containers to mine but what you want to do is you want to make sure that the eye that is popping up is facing upwards so you want to make sure that that is happening and the roots will go down so I want to make sure that this is facing upwards this guy is now facing upwards and then I'm going to choose another little one to go in here and I'm facing once again this upwards in the soil and I'm going to place another little guy over here and this larger one doesn't have too many there's a lot of eyes on here but they're very little so this won't be this won't produce a sprout for a while this one will and this one will before this so I'm going to add this one right here And I have no more room for these two, so I'm going to put these guys in another container outside of this video, but that's what it should look like. You have some spacing between your ginger, and then now you want to make sure your ginger is two to four inches below the soil surface. So I am going to 
add on the soil on top and then I will show you the after product. So we go here and we're just gonna add, I'm gonna add up to these lines, these soil. So I'm gonna probably head up to right here and then right here and place it in a medium sunny place. So Ginger likes to have morning sun. So it likes full sun for about two to five hours. But after that, we want to have it in a shady portion. So if you have somewhere around your property, around your apartment that gets um, morning sun, but then it passes over, uh, I would suggest that area. So I'm going to plant it right outside or put these pots right outside our patio. So these will not be with my garden over by the car parking lot because that gets full sun all hours of the day. These just need two to five hours of direct sunlight. Okay, so I'm going to add this in here. Next, for watering. Okay, so ginger... It's just like turmeric. You do not want to over soak your ginger because if you over soak your ginger, you're going to get some rot in there. So my suggestion for watering, because everybody's in different microclimates around here in California, especially in the Valley in LA, we get very dry, dry, consistent, hot heat. So I will probably be watering my ginger every single day, but how I'm going to make sure that I know I need to water it is I'm going to check the soil. So I need to make sure that it, this is the perfect dampness that I want for my soil. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it, but if it were this damp, I probably wouldn't add that much water to this. So I'm gonna check it every day. So if you can feel it, you don't want it completely drying out, you wanna add water to it before it fully dries out so just make sure that you never let your soil completely dry out before watering it that next day All right and that is I'm done so these guys are planted in here and now I'm going to place them right outside our patio Okay everybody, this is where I'm going to be putting my ginger. So for me, this gets about an hour and a half in the morning when the sun peaks over our apartment complex, comes right down, and at the end of the day, we get the sun peeking through the trees for about three hours. So it'll have a good four and a half hours of sun in here, and it's pretty hot in the valley right now. So just keep it in a place, be autonomous. I trust you guys with where you would best put your plants leave comments if you need any guidance for that but I think you know you know your plants you know your space and you know where you would get the best adequate light for your ginger um, but also a few tips like please don't get discouraged if you do not see something in a couple of weeks ginger takes a couple takes a little bit longer just like turmeric where um, the shoots tend to come up a little slower, but once the shoots are up, it'll be very fast. It, it's very rapid growth once you see the shoots, but it does take a little time underneath the soil. So please give it about two to five weeks to start seeing those shoots. Don't give up on it. Um, and also don't disturb it and try to see what's happening because you may have disturbed the roots at that point and they might go into shock. So, you know, mark it on your calendar when you planted your ginger after five weeks if you don't see anything maybe go investigate but still just trust in the process trust in your ginger trust in mother earth you're doing what you're doing you're watering your plants you're putting it in the sun and hopefully you will see you know the fruits of your labor so thank you guys for picking kaylee have a wonderful time growing your ginger and then I will upload a video on ginger timber or turmeric ginger tea that Jake and I make every single day and use as our nightly routine. It's delicious and it's wonderful for your body. It vitalizes your entire body every night and also calms you down. So thank you once again for picking Kaylee and have a wonderful day, you guys. I will see you.